Hey, what's up, y'all? Dixie T here. Um, I uh, just watched uh, Spinner and Nat's new video. Um, and uh, let's see, I agree. Uh, and he was talking about um, Rey Mysterio. And um, well, let me tell you, I, you know, I actually agree with him at that point. I mean. Rey Mysterio really, really just MVP like, I mean, he was, I mean, this entire year, he was very good. I will put John Morrison because he really has, um, you know, John Morrison really picked up in this year. I mean, him performing World Time, I mean, he has been put up as well. I think John Morrison needs to be up there as well. Um, CM Punk, I will get a mention of for MVP for WWE as well. Even though I have my reservations of, you know, how he's, you know, getting this championship being tossed around. But you know what? Um, you know, even though he loses the title more than anyone else, you know, pass on the top, that's not necessarily his fault. But, um, yeah, you know, he has been a very good year, very good matches. Especially good chemistry with, um, Santa Jeff Hardy and, um, both Hardy brothers. I saw the match. It was okay. Hopefully, he has some good chemistry with the Undertaker. Speaking of which, I'm still waiting for my Undertaker's Chris Jericho feud. <sighs> Looks like that. I'm really hoping for it. Well, here's hoping they get it in for the end of this year. Over there, they lose titles and Edge and Chris. Uh, Ed, no, before Edge comes back. They have their feud. As short, as sweet it is, it'll be just awesome with him being in the ring. It'll be great. Awesome and stuff. Uh, but anyway, I want to talk a little about Ray Mysterio. Uh, in the Cotton title, Ray Mysterio a bit more. Um, he, and I agree with most, and I think he has Rose in the Cotton title. He's raised the Cotton title's level, prestigious level, very much so in the past, uh, this past year. Hell, you can make a case that he is more valuable than the United States Championship. No, he's that's way past the United States Championship. And is I think you can put it past him, you know, the Intercontinental title, prestigious levels over the WWE title and the World Heavyweight title. Why? I'm going to tell you this right now. Because Rey Mysterio, as much as you know, he has been, um, you know, a championship, not only his matches have been great, but he has been consistent. He has been consistent with his matches. He has always been in a kind of title. He's played out in it all well. He has built up consistency with the belt. Randy Orton, um, his matches have been good from just mediocre at WrestleMania to okay, I guess, at um, Backlash. Medi uh, mediocre to bad on uh, Judgment Day. Horrible when he lost the title to Batista in a glorified freaking squash match. Five minutes. And, you know, have him win the title back by in a, uh, an elimination, uh, like a fatal four way in a good match. Good match. Well, you know, very good match. Um, and, and a very good last man standing match. Um, and, and then a week later, they had a very, Randy Orton had a very good stretching match, which that was, was a stretching match, because you know, Triple H just pwned him, for like, for five minutes to a steel chair, and then pedigreed him, and this, that, and the other, and this happened completely being wheeled, you know, from the, you know, from the stretch until things got better. You know, but it was a pretty good match. Um, the, no, yeah, you know, uh, Randy Orton still, it was a pretty good match, even though he needed, like, five members of Legacy, the entire Legacy of the Lackeys. He needed the Lackeys, uh, help, um, everything else. Um, yeah, let me see how much time I got. Uh, I gotta move on quickly. Um, uh, but you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, good matches, pretty good matches to just mediocre he hasn't really had any match, um, Randy Orton hasn't had any match that defined him. 
as a champion. None of that says, oh my God, Randy Orton was in that match. You know Randy Orton was in this match. You knew that he was there. He was like, it was sort of memorable. He hasn't been anything memorable. Um, CM Punk, on the other hand, even, um, you know, he hasn't been as consistent champion. He has been in memorable matches, him and Jeff Hardy. Um, even though he lost a lot when he was champ, um, you know, to John Morrison, but, you know, yeah, I mean, and the great Kali, but, hmm, instead of like that, I don't know why they didn't put him in a match like that anyway. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just to me that Rey Mysterio has been held in the kind of titles consistently, uh, and consistently, and having memorable matches. And, you know, holding a championship with pride and dignity, not, you know, completely and not only forgetting, like, you know, or completely not only just make it, and, and having a feud based around the title. Not like, you know, with Raw, which another thing about it, like with Raw, John Cena versus uh, Randy Orton, the championship wasn't barely even mentioned. It was just him, Randy Orton, racing against the uh, uh, guest host. Ugh. And it, and see you know, and SmackDown once again. I don't want to be going down on SmackDown over and over again, but uh, <laughs> um, the, at least another positive thing, which I think most of the, the championships on SmackDown just overall just leapfrog um, to Raw, uh, uh, way leapfrog Raw. Well, hell, ECW's title leapfrogs World uh, Raw's title at this point is because. They have their feuds based around a championship. Punk and Hardy, Jeff, CM Punk and Jeff Hardy feuds was immensely personal and immensely just like that. Same with Dolph Ziggler and and, and um, Chris Jericho when um, and when they faced Rey Mysterio. Immensely personal and what's part? Just Jericho was personal because he drafted his mask and and, and and a championship as well. But Dolph Ziggler, this young brash up and comer really brought it to the ring. I'm like, you know, this guy really getting close. And you're like saying, yeah, it's, a, and it's all based on the Intercontinental title. I haven't seen that much in the U.S. US, US yeah, the U.S. title. Um, I didn't see that much in the World Heavyweight title. They're not the WWE title. I haven't seen that. And it frustrates me because I feel the WWE title needs to be a lot more, you know, better than everything else. Oh, well. Anyway, this is Duke CT here. Peace and love. Uh, check out my blog. Check out my Twitter. All going to be on um, the description box somewhere. Um, and um, my um, podcast. Check out the podcast on my Duke City Lounge. And I pretty much break down how I would fix SmackDown. Um, in my perspective. You know, there might be some technical errors and things like that. And if you... Now, I will probably reiterate the uh, video probably tomorrow. I will probably release the video of that tomorrow. So, anyway, just Big CT here. Peace and love. I will see y'all when I see y'all. Uh, check out those links in the description. One.